Back to school question. Florida's Governor DeSantis says that he may start withholding funds from school districts that don't let parents opt out of policies that require masks in the classroom. Does the president think that parents should have that kind of power? Well, I, I think I've spoken to this a few times, but I will say, as a parent myself of two young children, uh, that I want public health officials to make decisions about how to keep my kids safe, not politicians. And not only is Governor DeSantis not abiding by public health decisions, he's fundraising off of this. So my view is that, and our view as an administration, is that uh, teacher parents in Florida, uh, parents across the country, should have the ability and the knowledge that their kids are going to school and they're in safe environments. That shouldn't be too much to ask. He says that his concern is about harmful emotional, academic, and psychological effects of putting kindergartners in masks for hours at a time. Is there any concern from officials that you guys talked to in your early pre-decisional uh, discussions about that? No, there's not. And I will tell you from personal experience, my rising kindergartner told me two days ago she could wear a mask all day, and she's just happy to go to camp and go to school. And the objective from all of our public health officials have, has been clearly, and our Secretary of Education, kids need to be in school. We know there's a mental Im health impact of them not being in school, and we should take the mitigation measures needed in order for them to be in school and in the classroom, including masking and including allowing that to be part of a reality in these schools to keep the community safe. We've spoken a lot about uh, Ron DeSantis and uh, Greg Abbott this week. What are the two or three Republican governors who are getting things right in the view of the White House right now on COVID? There are a number. Uh, we've talked about uh, Asa Hutchinson, who's taken a number of steps. We've also talked about uh, the, uh, Governor Hogan in Maryland. Uh, I talked about him earlier today. I've talked about the governor of Massachusetts. And I've said several times, the vast majority of governors, Republican governors, are doing exactly the right thing. They're putting public health, they're putting policies first, and they're saving lives in the process. And we've seen in a number of these states where they've taken these steps, the rates actually come down because it's having an impact. So that's a positive sign. This is not political to us. We are gonna continue to take steps work with governors, leaders of all political stripes in order to uh, prevent end the pandemic. Uh, go ahead, uh, Jen. With respect to the government exercising its federal authority around vaccines, you said that the conversations are pre-decisional. What is the timeline for getting to decisional? Uh, like, are we talking days, weeks, months? Do you, do you guys have a sense on when you'll have a determination on some of these discussions? I don't have a timeline for you. And when we say early and pre-decisional, often that means it's just at the staff level. Um, and they're discussing a broad range of options, uh, many of which never may even be presented up beyond that. But there are a broad range of discussions happening, early stages, uh, and obviously no decisions have been made. But clearly, COVID is our number one priority. And they'll continue to work towards uh, what they think the best options are.